Okay guys, this is gonna be a kind of a follow-up video, just kind of some odds and ends. I had a bunch of footage left over uh, from finishing up some of the extra steps, so I think we'll just kind of put that all together for you. So as you can see last time, Last time we figured out how to do the trigger electronics and got that all hooked up properly and wires come feeding in through here. So next time, next part we had to figure out how to get the wires from the front or from the body out into the barrel. So again, this is kind of my barrel adapter I made and I drilled these holes in it. And one of the problems was if you were to just install this barrel on here and twist it, if the wires were sticking through those holes, it would shear right off. So, so I put that little pin in there, and basically, now when I screw this together, you can see that pin fits in one of the holes, and once that's screwed together, it won't be able to rotate. That pin will keep it locked. And you can see, we can just pass wires right through. And the barrel itself just slides right over. I just kind of welded the other ones on, but the static ones, but I don't want to put a screw here because it wouldn't be accurate. Yeah. Probably just use some kind of easy to remove glue. This barrel tip still comes off, you just unscrew these and pop that off. But So I got a bunch of different lasers, um, some a little higher quality, some lower quality. Um, and basically I'm going to use those probably in combination with some LEDs in order to you know shoot actual laser out the tip and then also maybe light up inside the barrel. Um, so I also got this polycarbonate um, and I made this three quarter inch so it will fit nicely. But basically I figured I could probably do something just like this and maybe frost the barrel a little bit. That way it'll kind of light up like a lightsaber blade um, also, you know, with an LED. Okay guys, I thought this was kind of cool. So I needed an extra switch uh, for the auxiliary switch for the blaster core. Um, this is kind of how this old design works. It just has the little black panel and this little cutout here that fits together and locks it in place. So I'm gonna mill that a little deeper. I made a chassis here, which I put a micro switch here. There's a spot for a speaker, battery, um, charge port, blaster core, all that stuff. And that fits in nicely like this. But now that, you see if, if you press here, it has a little give. So, basically you're gonna kinda make a nice little hidden button here. You can hear it. So you just press on the little window and that'll be your auxiliary switch. Now what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on here to hold it in place. And just press it into place and hold it for the glue to dry. And same thing, just kind of hold it in place. You want to make sure these are down really flat because they're gonna they'll get in way they'll get in the way of the trigger or the uh, auxiliary switch if you don't make sure that's very flush. Something even that much and just kind of get it in place. Just make sure that, just make sure that's not gonna get in the way. So like make sure it's flat. Cause you need the, when this is in place, it'll press on it. Uh, so now we're gonna need the speaker. That's where the speaker is. Now we're gonna need power. That's the power in right here. Trigger goes right here. And the aux switch goes right here. Cool. All right, so technically it's all wired up. Just switches off. Don't know if there's any juice in the battery. Plug it together. Hey. Works. Check a little switch. Now we gotta be careful so these don't short out, but 
Now all that's left to do is whatever we want to do with the lights. It could be a laser, it could be LEDs. There's a bunch of ways to do that, so I'm not going to go into that right now. But anyways. And we button everything back up. Alright guys, thanks for following along with me. This has been kind of a fun project. It definitely took a little longer than I thought it was going to. Um, from just, you know, design to, you know, the electronics, to all the machining and figuring all that stuff out. So it's been a pretty fun road. Um, so I'm finally done. Got the sound all working, lasers, um, all that kind of good stuff weathered up, and um, I'm pretty much ready for the next project. So if you're interested in what that's going to be, follow along. Uh, you can also check me out on Instagram, it's just uh, S2Jesse, and uh, I look forward to the next project.